Love them or hate them, Brewdog keep bringing out new beers. This is another new beer. This is one of the part of the uh, Tesco new beer range. It's a Mallow Laser Quest Pineapple Marshmallow in a hazy IPA. Sounds a little sweet, but what's it going to taste like? Check out the review to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. We are racing through these Tesco beers. Today, we're gonna to review this beer. This is a brew dog. This is a Mallow Laser Quest, Marshmallow and Pineapple Hazy IPA. Again, it's one of those things where this doesn't taste like beer, some sort of joke beer. Stick some marshmallows into a pineapple cocktail of beer. How is it gonna be, you know, I mean, I do like beers at breweries that take chances and do something a bit different. This sounds a lot different, but it could really sort of blow up in their faces and be absolutely horrible. I mean, it tastes like it's gonna be too sweet with marshmallow and pineapple in a hazy IPA, but you never know, it could actually work. So this is uh, 6%. Uh, again, it's available in uh, Tesco, £2.40 for a can. If you've got a Tesco club card, I think you can get it for two quid. If you buy four of them, you can get it for two quid. You pay eight quid for, for a box of four. So it's amazing value for money. Brew dog, yeah, I mean, who hasn't had a brew dog beer at some time in their life? Um, they're in all the supermarkets in some form or another. You know, everyone's had a punk IPA at some point in time. Maybe an Elvis juice, maybe a Hazy Jane. We've had them here on the channel. I've never had a brew dog beer that I think, oh, yeah, that's a really great beer. They're either not great or they're average. So I'm hoping that this is going to be something in the higher level, especially as these beers that we've had... We've reviewed four so far. Three of them have been got over 80 out of 100. And uh, the value for money is incredible. The beers are really good quality. Um, it's worrying because it's the, they're cheap. People are going to buy beers from there and think, well, I'll just keep buying my beers from, uh, from Tesco and I'll just keep buying them. I mean, obviously, that's what Tesco want. But, you know, there's loads of great independent little breweries out there. You need support as well. So if you buy your beers from a supermarket, think, well, I've saved some money. But go out there and buy other beers from your bottle shops because there's lots of beers out there. I can't review them all as much as I'd love to. Other YouTubers can't review them all either, you know, and there's quite a lot of us out there. So, um Brewdog, you know, they're they're almost like the, um, are they like the Fosters? You know, are they like the Heinekens of, of, of craft beer? They're probably the biggest craft beer. Them and Tiny Rebel lead the way, really. Not in terms of their quality of beer, but just in terms of probably sales, profits, the growth that they've done over the last few years. And I always worry that these big craft brewers sort of, forget why they went into craft beer in the first place small batches quality beer it's a little bit now produced for the masses but i'm ranting so let's get this beer out of the can and into a glass and see what a pineapple hazy marshmallow ipa is going to taste like so already beer in the glass it looks quite different very very orangey you've got we've got a two finger and it's a sort of off-white sort of almost like a uh, what do you call that mother of pearl beige um it's it's the color of your teeth when they're not ice white basically very orangey i can already get the aromas opening the can no surprise it's a big big pineapple sort of um, aroma but it's not you know, we've had lots of New England IPAs, especially, that have that pineapple aroma. But this is this is quite different. It's very, very sweet in its aroma. It it tastes like pineapple cubes, pineapple chunks, pineapple cubes. I can't remember which ones. Are. It tastes very sort of candied pineapple, really, really sugary and sweet. And then I'm getting a real sort of sweetness from... I don't know if I'm imagining it because you can smell a real big sweet smell. It smells really good. If you like sweet sort of smelling things, it smells like sweets, it smells like, I'm getting a little hint of marshmallow, that sort of vanilla-y sort of creaminess as well. It smells pretty good. 
I'm going in. Cheers, everyone. It's quite different. It's not bad. It's not as bad as as potentially could have been by reading the if you're a beer lover and you read stuff like this you'd be going oh this is just a an alco pop of craft beer really it's got that sweetness but it's a little bit reined in and when you're drinking it so you get that big pineapple sort of flavor that big candied sort of pineapple flavor but it's got a quite a nice thick creamy body which is always great there's no sort of bitterness at all in there and just when you think it's going to be too sweet, it just stops and sort of dials itself back. And you get that sort of, well, I'm not quite sure what you get in terms of on the back end. It's a strange one. You get that nice, soft, creamy mouthfeel. You get a pineapple. Then you get this sort of creaminess, which I can only put down to that sort of marshmallow flavour. And then it sort of, that's it. It sort of ends. There's no sort of punchline. There's no sort of all bit, bit bitter. It's not sour. It's, it's quite good, actually. It's very, very different. I don't think I've ever tasted a beer quite like it. It's a little... Yeah, well, I mean, I, I want to say it's sweet because... If you've drank any other sort of IPAs, or New England IPAs or West Coast IPAs, it's not like any of those. But it's not like a sour either, which, you know, when you get those more fruitier type of beers, usually they're sour or there might be a ghost. And you don't, but you're not getting that. You're getting an IPA sort of um, body. It's soft. Um, excuse my dog, he's barking for, I don't know what reason. Um, maybe he, he wants a, a taste of the old mellow uh, laser quest. But you're getting a very much a, a slightly sweeter IPA with a bit more of a, almost like an earthiness, I think. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a quandary in terms of description. It is soft on the mouth, Phil. You're getting pineapple and you're getting candied pineapple, a very different different pineapple sort of flavour than you would expect from, a, say, a New England IPA. So you're getting a sweet pineapple. But just when you think, oh, it's too sweet, suddenly it goes, oh, no, we're going to rein this in. We're, gonna, we're not going to go too sweet. We're going to layer it with a little bit of, I suppose, a vanilla -y sort of creaminess, which must be the marshmallow. What's interesting, I've just looked at the can here, um, and I, I think I did mention this when I did the uh, sort of unveiling, as it were. I'll get just to read you the blurb. It says, it's a Mallow Laser Quest. It's an IPA with a twist. A hazy India Pearl Ale unpacks a sweet tropical fruit aroma. Definitely. Bursting with pineapple candied fruit. Yes. Sherbet. Mmm, sherbet. Now, I'm not getting the sherbet. Although when you think about it, you know, when you start thinking of sweet pineapple and it's sugary, you get that almost sherbety sort of taste. It's got that. And mallow notes heading towards a sweet finish. I don't I think that I don't think it's got an overly sweet. I think if it's almost the opposite, you get a sweetness on that first hit, but it doesn't finish sweet, it just finishes abruptly into I want more, I want something else on the back on that back end. Uh, it says, obviously, flavour profile, pineapple, sweet marshmallow, hops. Now, this is interesting because you've got citra hops. And I've only just reviewed the Buxton Citra IPA. And it's nothing like that at all. So, But it's obviously got the same hops. But the other hops in it, which is one I've not heard of before, is, and I'm going to probably take three goes to pronounce this, Ahutunum. So it's Atanium, Atanium, Ahutunum. So it's the letter A, the letter H, T, A, N, U, M. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but I must admit I've never heard of that hop before. I'm going to seek it out. Is that a marshmallow flavoured hop? I, I don't know. I mean, it's it's quite an interesting one, though, because I've never seen that hop before, so it's obviously using different things. And then they've got a little scale here. Actually, I'll, I'll show you it. So we've got hoppiness, 
which is sort of a little bit bigger than from the central uh maltiness you know a little bit back from the from the middle ground and then bitterness also further back um and he says the world's only carbon negative beer i mean they they like to talk about their every beer they brew they plant a tree and stuff and it's all very good and you know it's great for the environment and then their big factories pumping out all kinds of stuff regardless of that they've got the marketing right it's very i think people would look at this on the shelf and go I'm going to have to try it because it's so weird and strange. And it is weird and strange. It's not a beer that I'd rush out to buy the four pack off. Because I think it's a little too, even though it, the sweetness is curbed a little bit. I don't think you're going to want to drink more, many of them, you know, because it's quite a, a unique taste. And I think you'd soon, your mouth would soon get a little bit sort of, dried out by that sort of flavor you know I, I could i could drink i could not back the ipas i could not back new england's but this is something i'm glad i've tried it's a good beer it's not a great beer it's almost like you know it's like it's brew dog you know it's what it is it's a good beer but not a great one let's get some scores Okay, the scores are in for the Brewdog Mallow Laser Quest. It's a marshmallow and pineapple hazy IPA. It sounds absolutely disgusting for a beer, but it just about works. First things first, though, aroma. You can't deny when you first smell that there's pineapple, a pineapple flavour. It's, but it's quite different than a lot of pineapple flavour. Uh, say pineapple flavour, pineapple aroma much different than a lot of pineapple aromas that we normally associate with some new england ipas it smells like sweet pineapple chunks pineapple cubes a candied pineapple sort of aroma and then there's this sort of like vanilla -y sort of weirdness which i think is the marshmallow i don't know i've never if you ever get a marshmallow and you smell it it probably just smells sugary sweet which is probably what that aroma is it's nice though it's not it doesn't it's not overly sickly sweet it's just it just makes you intrigued and in what it's going to taste like so i'm giving it 14 for aroma appearance wise well it's a lovely sort of hazy as as, as it says on the tin with a sort of i suppose that's a sort of a, an orange golden orange sort of um appearance we've got a you know the head is well we still got a head there and it's, it's lacing the glass nicely it looks pretty good i'm giving it a solid eight out of ten flavor wise well like the aromas you get that sweet pineapple flavor and just when you think oh it's going to be too sweet it just sort of stops and just sort of dials itself just sort of stops stops and says right no we are a beer we're not a fruit alco pop and you get that nice sweet maltiness i suppose you almost say but without it going too into that sort of sour ghost sort of territory and it doesn't do any sort of lip puckering sort of sourness which which when you look at the can you might think it might do um but it's it's still candied pineapple with a sort of vanilla-y marshmallow flavor which is nice but would you want to drink loads of them probably not um, it's got a nice creamy mouthfeel, carbonation is low, all of those sort of things definitely tick the boxes. It's solid, but it's still a, just a tiny bit sweet and, and too different in terms of what I want from an IPA, for example. So I'm knocking it back a few, we'll get 32 for flavour. Value for money. Well, I mean, I know a lot of these beers, last recent ones, I've given them sort of 10 out of 10, but... Because you can pick these up for two quid, and it's, that's a really good value for money for a 6% IPA. The problem is, is that I wouldn't want to buy loads of these because I think it's just too much. So, and it's not quite the sort of beer that I want to drink lots of. And I don't know how I, I come to this, but I, I can't give it 10 for value. I'm giving it nine though, because it's great value for money. If you like it, it's good value. But I don't just don't think... I don't see why you would buy four cans of it to drink because no one's going to drink four cans one after the other. If you've got four people in your house and they like craft beer, then 
a four pack makes sense. You can give one of them to each. Each each person gets a beer, um, and then you go on to something else. But you won't want to drink all four of them certainly in in, in one time because it's just too a little bit too sweet. It's not overly sweet. I just want to say it's not overly sweet, but it's still sweet for a beer. So nine out of ten for value. And my overall experience, well, I'm certainly glad I've tried it. It has a place in that sort of craft beer arena, something a bit different, a bit funky, you know. It's down for the kids, you know, with a bit of sweet pineapple marshmallow. I mean, it sounds crazy. It almost just about carries it off in terms of the flavour is there. It's not too gimmicky, but it's still... My overall experience, I can't give it too high a score because there's no way I'd want to drink another one after drinking one. I'm glad I drank one. Would I drink it again? I, I don't even know if I would drink it again. I'm glad I've tried it, and it's not a bad beer, but it's not one of those sort of beers that you can go, oh, I'll just pick one of them out of the fridge and drink it. It's, it's too quirky for its own good, I think. So I'm giving it 12 for overall experience. So we top those scores up, and we still get a solid 75. It's not the worst of the Tesco beers. It's not up there with those 80 plus beers that we've had, but it's 75. It's a white snake beer. And if you're drinking a pineapple and marshmallow IPA, which has got a haziness to it, as the description says, you've got to slide this one in slow and easy because it's a white snake beer and it's there to be enjoyed. So I hope you enjoyed the review for the Brewdog Mallow Laser Quest. Let me know if you can pronounce that hop that I couldn't. Let me know if you've ever had that hop in any other beer before, because I definitely haven't. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, please do, because we've got still a few more of those uh, Tesco beers that are coming up. And we've got lots more beers. We've got rock reviews. We've got rock rankings coming out of our ears. They're just coming up. We're really hitting the, uh, the big time now in terms of the subscribers. We're getting up to that. Oh, we never know we could be up we, by the time you see this we could have about 400 subscribers we're nearly there halfway to that big 1000 that every youtuber strives to be if you want to help me get there then please do and until the next video you know what you do i didn't even say that properly i've only had one beer you know what you've got to do you've got to keep on rocking